Hi, Coach Huber here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're talking about the psychology of a hitting coach. Does a hitting coach have to be a good psychologist? The answer to that question is yes, a resounding yes. Being too pushy as a hitting coach will cause problems. You have to be on the hitter's side no matter if he likes or dislikes what you teach or if he is doing well or not so well. The key is to never cause dissension if you don't have to. Unless a player absolutely deserves a reprimand and is a problem cause. Players start to make adjustments you ask them to make, but do not get better. And it may be a sign that your advice is not helpful. You may need to lay off or find another solution to the problem. Remember, hitting is a problem solving process, both physically and psychologically. The coach should play to their own teaching strengths and try not to teach things they are not sure about unless the player and coach are willing to experiment. Hitting coaches generally don't last long at any one place and, and should learn not to take things personally. Staying positive and learning to rally behind his hitters no matter what the circumstances is the best way to move forward and help your team score runs. Learning how to place confident reminders into the player's head constantly is the key. Using tools like mental imagery and visualization techniques is always a plus. Helping players evaluate their potential, moving them to a goal-oriented direction that serves the role of the player and the better purpose of the team also is a great idea. The ultimate coach will be able to piece together hitting problems physically and psychologically together. This will help most hitters hit it hard and keep the offense consistent throughout most of the year. Thank you, Coach Huber. Uh, head to my website for more information on hitting. We have free articles, free videos, and training packages. Please click the like button if you like this video. Take care. <laughs>